Hello students, in this video, in my virtual classroom, I am going to explain why non metals do not liberate nitrogen on reaction with water or with dilute acids. So, non metals do not displace hydrogen from dilute acids as well as water. Now, the basic concept behind this is that non metals are electron acceptors, right? They do not donate electron, right? But if we have to liberate hydrogen gas from an acid or from water, we need to supply electrons to the H positive ions either from water or from acid. So, what actually happens is hydrogen positive ions accept the electrons, change into hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atoms in the next reaction, number two, combine with coplet bond and liberate hydrogen gas. So, this is the basic requirement. Now, let us say what is happening and why non metals are not liberating hydrogen. Now, See non metal plus hydrogen ion, but there is no transference of electron. Non metal is not providing any electron so that this H positive can gain and change into hydrogen atom. Hydrogen atoms further form covalent bond and liberate hydrogen. So, this is the reason that non metals plus H positive ions, either from water or from acid, there is no evolution of hydrogen gas. Now, let us come to the other property that is the reaction of non metals with oxygen. Yes, non metals do react with oxygen to form binary compounds called non-metal oxides. Now how come? You right? So here the non-metals are forming covalent compounds. That is there is mutual sharing of electrons between an atom of non-metal and that of oxygen. Now the Basics of covalent bonding you are going to do in chapter carbon and its compounds and I will be sending you another video in which I will be explaining the covalent bond formation. So here we just follow that there is mutual sharing of electrons between the atoms of a non metal and that of oxygen leading to the formation of binary compounds called non metal oxides. Now, there is a simple activity given in your NCRT that you take a spatula and take sulfur and start burning it. With a start heating it and you will find on heating sulfur powder, it will combine with oxygen, there will be evolution of gas. Then you pass this gas through water and you will get a solution of sulfur dioxide in water. Now, if you add red litmus, nothing happens, but if you add blue litmus, it turns red. Same is the case with carbon dioxide. So, water you know is neutral and if we are dissolving sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide in water and that water is changing blue litmus red, it tells us that the nature of these oxides is acidic. So, Generally, the non-metal oxides are acidic in nature, but there are some neutral oxides also. So, what are these neutral oxides? That is neither basic nor acidic and they do not show any change whether we use blue litmus or red litmus. So, these are carbon monoxide, nitrous oxide, water, etc. So, this is the reason why non-metals do react with oxygen, whereas non-metals do not react with water or dilute acid. 
Hope the topic is now clear. Thank you so much.